What's wrong? I don't know, William, but something's not right with me. I don't remember what I had for dinner last night. I don't remember leaving the clinic for Christmas break. And didn't we go on a boat trip? I don't remember going on a boat trip, William. Something's not right with me. Oh, baby. Where are the kids? I'm asleep. Uh, Sophie has a fever, but she's okay. Maybe you have what Sophie has. Why don't you go lie down and see how you feel in the morning? But speaking of awesome husbands, you get to go to work and, and be Keanu Reeves' wife. That's not bad. Yeah, that was really easy. Oh. Hello, John Wick. <laughs> yeah, there he is. That's so, John Wick. Yeah, I, you know, I love this type of movie. I love thrillers. Um, and I'm fascinated with the concept of this because, you know, my dog is getting older. She's 13, and people uh, very often now clone animals. And right. so we, we talk a lot about what if you could clone people? What are your personal thoughts on that? Well, it's a complicated one. You know, in the movie, Keanu does make the decision to clone me and our kids after we, had, we die in a crash. And then, of course, is the fallout. I mean, I actually was having a conversation earlier about people who clone their dogs. Yeah. And sometimes the dogs aren't the same temperament. It, like, looks the same and maybe has and the same color And they do it with polo mark. ponies. The, the, the most oh, successful polo they? team in the world is Polo-bonies. all one. Yeah. I used no. to play polo. Really? Yeah, I was a lunatic. It's very dangerous. <laughs> it is a very dangerous yeah. sport. Yeah, but one of the most successful, the most successful uh, polo team in the world is actually now all one animal. You're joking. No, it's all one animal that they've bred over and over. They've cloned it you over see, and over and over again. You see, this is the moral. Again. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know that I would do it because I feel the same. Like, e- even though it looks like that thing, that thing, if it had a soul or developed its personality based on whatever your beliefs are, What are the odds that that would be the same? And they aren't the same. Mm. And then also, what are the psychological traps that the individual who is cloned are stuck in, you know? And that's kind of what I went through with my character is, you know, she knows something's wrong and something's constantly wrong. And it's that feeling of suspicion, like, you know, that as a kid, you think there's a monster under the bed. It's that she kind of is living with that. And who knows if that's what would be the result of this. Exactly. Like, you feel trapped within yourself. You know something's not right, but you can't. Fix it. And we know that's the worst feeling to have when you're like, something's not right, but you don't know what it is. I heard that you actually have a ghost story. My mom thought we lived in a haunted house when I was a little girl. I don't know if I believe in ghosts or not, but I do think everybody has a soul. Like, I know my dog has a different personality from my former dog, and you know, babies. Babies have, like, you can so tell the difference. In, in just with babies, they can't speak, but you can get their personality. Their energy, it's energy. Right. Mm. And you know, where does energy go? Because we only have this much energy in the universe and that's the energy we have. So there's got to be some kind of afterlife. There's some sort of cyclical thing. There right. has to be, who knows what it is, I don't know. But I definitely don't doubt my suspicions. I don't, like, if I think I see something, I'm like, it was definitely a ghost. I love her! <laughs> oh, my God, you're so fun! I was like, definitely, <laughs> something's going down around here. But, um, yeah, but I, I get know. those feelings, too. Yeah, like, they're feelings. Sometimes, right, things come together that you would never have foreseen happening, and you're like, huh. How'd that happen? And fate as well. Oh, absolutely. And as much control as we try to exert over our lives, often something else comes in and you have to like resign to it and follow it and do it. And all of those things are difficult to navigate. But I quite like the idea that there are ghosts and that the people that we've loved who've passed on are still around in some way. Yeah, I feel that presence a lot. Yeah, I do too, and I like that. I miss my grandpa, and I wish he could have met my husband. And sometimes I feel like things happen, and, and I like to imagine that he's hanging out. I think He's a so. cool guy. Right, my yeah. guy was really cool too. Yeah. He had mum tattooed on his arm, he was a sailor. <laughs> I love that. I do too. Yeah, my grandpa used to play uh, cards with the Runzo boys and they let me be one of the fellas basically. So <laughs> as a small child, I thought I was a 70 something year old Sicilian man. <laughs> oh really, they were all Sicilian? Oh yeah, drinking the homemade wine. My first word was vino. Cause my grandpa Your used first to- word was vino. Vino, cause he'd hold up my baba and it was all water and wine. So I would go to sleep and be quiet. 